Good morning and welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is Tuesday, October 26th, the 30th week in Ordinary Time, and I'm Patty Hurley here to pray with you. Our readings today are taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans and the Gospel of Luke, and through them we are reminded that we are all responsible to share the Gospel message and Jesus will sustain us as we bring others to him. So let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be the God of all consolation who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed to us. For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains, even now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. For in hope we were saved. Now hope that sees for itself is not hope. For who hopes for what one sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait with endurance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, the Lord has done marvels for us. The Lord has done marvels for us. When the Lord brought back the captives of Zion, we were like men dreaming. Then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad indeed. The Lord has done marvels for us. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the torrents in the southern desert. Those that sow in tears shall reap rejoicing. The Lord has done marvels for us. Although they go forth weeping, carrying the seed to be sown, they shall come back rejoicing, carrying their sheaves. The Lord has done marvels for us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said, What is the kingdom of God like? To what can I compare it? It is like a mustard seed that a man took and planted in the garden. When it was fully grown, it became a large bush, and the birds of the sky dwelt in its branches. Again he said, to what shall I compare the kingdom of God? It is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch of dough was leavened. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us take a few moments to reflect on the word of God and what it says to us today. Let us now bring our cares and our concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For our call for stewardship, that we may be good stewards of the gifts that God has given us by addressing the challenges of our parish community and by responding generously with time, talent, and treasure, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, 
that we may experience Christ looking upon us with love and respond generously to what he asks of us today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic and full restoration of our community, that God will protect the human family from new variants and suppress the virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God may give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of your Son and the road to redemption paved by his sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting peace. Amen. Go in peace and have a lovely day.